Hello everyone, and today I am here with uh, Halo Reach commentary, and my name is Abuse Muffin. I haven't uh, put out a commentary in a little bit of time, and uh, that's just because of work and stuff. Uh, most of you guys know know that, unless you're new, so that's why I'll tell you. So, uh, you just saw me get owned right at the start there. Uh, that was just stupid of me. I don't know why I picked jetpack. I I'm terrible with jetpack, and I uh, usually don't use it because I uh, I'm not very good at shooting when I'm uh, flying around. It really distracts me, sort of. So, anyways, um, yeah, into the game. I just picked up sword. Uh, I love sword in this game. Um, sometimes uh, it can uh, it can just get a clash though. So you gotta be careful that you hit them directly, or else uh, it's not always a one shot. Not totally sure how it works, but uh, yeah, right here is pretty good. They're all coming to me because they see the dead X's, and uh, there's a lot of corners on this map. The sword, what's well, called sword base, so it's obviously uh, pretty much made for swords. But uh, it, it, nonetheless, I'm just gonna say it is an awesome map for swords. If you get sword, it's pretty awesome for uh, defense, especially up top. Someone can come in with a jetpack and uh, think that um, they're home free, but you have a sword, just one hit around a corner. Um, that's what I use uh, this game a lot when I have the sword. I uh, am always checking my radar. And if they're a dark red dot, that means they're on a different level than you. So you just got to watch out for that. So if it's a dark red dot, I look down usually to see if someone's under me. Um, or I know they're coming up around the stairs, things like that. Uh, and up here is the top. Um, you should look up here if you're the other team, but most of the time they don't, unless they're over there where uh, Rascal is uh, 303. Um, that's where they usually look up. But this dude doesn't really suspect anything. He should have watched his radar and would have saw that I became a light red dot when he came and I was dropping on them. But uh, I don't think they did check their radar because they're a little preoccupied with uh, getting Cameron. Um, so Cameron helped. I wouldn't have got that without uh, Cameron doing that. He uh, he's got shots on them and distracted them enough time that uh, that uh, I had time to. And uh, that was stupid of me. If that dude knew how to use his armor lock, I would have been dead. Because I did hit his uh, his armor lock with my sword stupidly. And this, do not run straight at someone with a sword. Just um, only get them around corners and stuff. Don't run at them. It's kind of stupid because. Uh, you're uh, you're just as fast as them backing up, basically. So you're not gonna catch them, and then they just have a free kill on you because unless they walk into a wall, you're not gonna catch them, and they're shooting at you. So hide or pull out your other weapon or throw a grenade. Just do something panicky, basically. Like go into the next room. Like there, I had the perfect opportunity. Here, I think I'm not sure what happened, but I died to a nade, and I think a beatdown from a rascal or that guy. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so, Halo Reach is pretty awesome. I uh, haven't really played it that much. I haven't bought anything from the armor yet, sadly. I think I'm going to get a nice little helmet when I uh, unlock it, when I become a higher rank. Right now I'm a sergeant, so that's pretty low. Um, I'm making a forge map. That's why I uh, started up the forge tutorial videos. So if you're interested in that, just say. Or if you want more commentary, say here too. I'm pretty excited that Black Ops is coming out. Um, I was getting a tiny bit tired of Modern Warfare. Pretty sure all my friends were too. So uh, we got some people that play Halo Reach. And luckily I got a decent game. I'm not that good at Halo. Just saying right now. But um, you see that dude's up there. I should remember this. But um, I get distracted and later on... He kills me up there because I totally forget. And, um. See, this is why I don't really like Jetpack. It, he did kill me. From, but, uh. Jetpack really is distracting to shoot from. If you're good with it, that's awesome. But I am terrible with it. I just can't get. I'm not used to that, uh, dimension. Um. <laughs> flight in this game. Don't shoot as fast as I am right there. Take your time. Um, I was just getting a little excited and impatient, and you gotta wait for your reticle to go down to the middle. So, I'm gonna throw out an interesting story, just because I, uh,
kind of want to. Um, so I'm at work, and uh, I'm walking back to uh, to uh, my house, and as I'm leaving my uh, work, I uh, it's really dark. It's laid out. I uh, pass the dumpster, and I'm about three feet away from it, and I'm just like. I'm there with uh, some of my other co-workers leaving and I stop and look at the dumpster because there's a, a bush or a tree branch rustling up the against the dumpster uh, lid really loudly and I was like hmm what like sort of just stopping and like staring pretty closely what is that and then I announce it loud I'm like oh I thought that was an animal and then uh, one of my coworkers uh, yells like at the top of her her lungs to uh, get back into the, the building, and it turns out it was a bear in the dumpster, a little cub. And apparently, after some investigation, some guys came got the bear away. Uh, there was a mama bear in the tree right above us. So that's a pretty interesting story. Kind of funny now. It's kind of hilarious. And, um, so, yeah, that's my little story. Back to Halo. <sighs> I haven't done a commentary in a while, and I am not the greatest. Plus, most of my commentaries are roughly around five or six minutes, because I speed them up. But, um, this, this Halo match was pretty interesting, mostly. I go pretty, um... I had a lot of fun with this little grenade launcher thing. I never really used it before, but I figured I'd pick it up and just try it out because Five minutes remaining. it looks fun. I don't understand it at all. As you see, I just explode one right in my face. I think you're supposed to hold the trigger, and it goes longer range. Um, and when you let go, it explodes. So I'm not totally sure how it works. But here's here's a nice little kill. This dude used armor lock. He, he does use it at a good time to get away. And he does get away, but sadly, he didn't get around that corner fast enough because my nade gets him. And, uh, like, in Halo, it's a lot different than Call of Duty because you have to run away a lot. Like, if I'm not the strongest uh, DMR or needle rifle person, so I have to run. Like, here, I, I bail. I, I wasn't going to win. I have no shields. I have three blocks of health left. I have to so I panic and I miss a ton of shots and then we both end up dying because I panicked and I could have waited an extra second just to get the headshot but I uh, just kept on shooting with my reticle really big and that doesn't work in this halo so it's not like a BR it's kinda different because of that aim thing and this dude blindly goes around the corner looking for a weapon and Rascal takes care of him. It's I he if you look back at the video, he didn't even look at me. The video is actually coming to an end. Um, yeah, we got like 30 seconds left, so I'm just gonna be like, yeah, I need to work on my commentary skills again. But anyways, I think I'm gonna be doing a dual commentary um, with Best Man and. Egypt Rabbi, and I'm gonna talk to Best Man to see if I can get that uh, Halo Wars campaign coming up because a lot of people have been commenting on that video asking where it went. So I'll see what I can do, guys. And any suggestions, leave them in the comment. And please rate this if you.